So I just want to air out some of my small pet peeves that I'm developing as I'm growing in my career. Uh, my meeting planner pet peeves, just in case people out there are wondering what a meeting planner is thinking. Number one, if I tell you how I want a room set, please don't tell me how I should set it. Um, if it doesn't fit, yes, tell me it won't fit. But if I say that my meeting is being done in a U shape, and then you tell me that you think it'd be better in crescents and you set the room in crescents, I didn't ask for that. And so when I come to you and then tell you to change it back, I may not speak the language that you speak, but I read body language very well. Don't do that. Like, cut that ish out because it's not flying with me, it's not flying with anyone on my team, and I don't mind being the heavy, so here I get to be the heavy. Don't do it. Don't tell me that the menu that I have chosen isn't enough for the people. Now, if you need me to spend more money and you haven't created minimums and you just want me to spend and this is how you're gonna do it, that's one thing. And I'd rather spend it on amenities or I may rather have it in, I don't know, some other kind of a package or a takeaway. But I don't need to waste food all the time. So don't try and increase the items on whatever it is that I ordered because you think it's better and then charge me for them after because I ordered it. I didn't really order it. You suggested it and I said it's not probably a good idea and then you added it on. It's, I'm going to assume it's a gift from you to me. If I tell you I need food in a room for a meeting, for a relaxation session, for um, any kind of activity and you don't believe it will go there because it might smell, it might be a distraction. The minute I tell you that I've been doing what I've been doing for at least five years, and I've been doing it for longer than five, but at least five, there's no need for you to tell me how to set these things up. You can ask me again or let me know, hey, it's, it, it might smell, it might do this, are you gonna be okay with that? If I say yes, don't try and get like your manager or another manager or the general manager to come to me to tell me that by the way I know you want to put food in this room but if you put the food in this room it's not going to it, it'll have a smell or yes I'm aware of that I'm also aware that the reason why I'm serving whatever I'm serving in the room is probably out of time constraints if I'm asking you to do it a certain way it's because I want it that way don't show me food in a tasting or let me try food in a tasting and then totally change it when I have the event. And then serve me the changed plate and tell me that, well, you were enhancing it. Or if I picked out that this is perfect for a reason, leave it. Don't try and change last minute. Don't try and rearrange things. Don't improve or reinvent the wheel. Whatever I had at the tasting is exactly what I want at my event. If you need to enhance something, check with me first, especially if, no, just check with me first. I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't. Please label your food. Please label, 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 label all day, every day. I'd rather that you have too many things listed and then I have to have them taken away, but label the food. Um, and don't tell me because I can see it that it's self-explanatory. I don't know what you made. I don't know what's in your tiramisu. I'm in Saudi Arabia. You don't have coffee liqueur. So what's in your tiramisu? I know that you have a steamed vegetable medley with some kind of sauce on it. What's the sauce? What's in it? What kind of, is it butter, is it oil, is it parsley? You haven't told me what's going on here, so I don't know. And the worst thing is, well, it's the worst thing when someone asks me what it is, but that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is when I ask 
a staff member from your team, what is this or what's in this? And they can't tell me. That's a serious pet peeve of mine, um, not only for the food itself, but it's a service pet peeve. Like uh, you brought me something on a plate. What's on the plate? I don't know what it is. And it's not that I don't know, like maybe I'm allergic, like that's huge, but I'm also in a foreign country and not everybody's lived here or has been very long. And I'm saying this because I'm brand new. I don't know what's on the plate. I don't know what it is. If I like it, I can never order it again. I can't come back to whatever venue I'm in and be like, I tried this, it was amazing. I want it. I can't do that because I don't know what it is and no one's willing to tell me because nobody knows. So it's mystery food, it's a mystery snack, mystery meat, mystery salad, who knows? And you shouldn't have to go through and try and pull teeth to get that kind of an explanation. Now in certain things, I can understand you thinking that it's self-explanatory, like hummus. Hummus, pretty straightforward. I think almost everyone in the world now knows that chickpeas that are ground up are hummus. Since I've been here, I've had hummus with ground beef, hummus with ground lamb, hummus with pine nuts, hummus with um, what I believe is paprika. And I'm saying what I believe because they're like, yeah, it's just the red spice. Um, and the only really red spice that I know is paprika. I'm sure it probably is something else, but no one has bothered to tell me, even though I've asked, because nobody seems to know. And that's how this video happened, because I don't know. It's not good, so fix it. My last pet peeve for this particular video is if something goes wrong, something probably will go wrong. Events happen, things go wrong, meeting planners get stressed out, they're worrying and balancing a zillion different things. That's okay. If the things that are wrong are your fault, um, and by your fault it might be you literally threw away something that was necessary, like something that we rented you tossed after we were done with it rather than saving it, or maybe um, you forgot to put out something for a meal or you changed um, changed people's rooms and didn't tell the people that were staying in them more. And I'm not saying these are happening right now. Um, some of them yes, some of them no. But I'm saying with, if those are kind of problems where you as a venue or you as a hotel or you as whatever it is, is it, it, you own it, own it. Say you're sorry, admit that you made a mistake, and move forward. The last thing I as a planner want to do is to listen to you tell me about how it's not your team's fault or that you try and shift the blame or that you try and be like, oh, well, you know, we didn't put that out because we're not used to putting that particular item out and so we we just we didn't do it because you know this person forgot don't pass the blame along i prefer management especially that owns it own the situation admit the mistake empathize with the person that is having whatever the difficulty is and move forward try not to make the mistake again and if you do allah help you god help you someone help you because making multiple repeated mistakes not only then looks bad for you, it looks bad for your brand, it looks bad because meeting planners are going to want to talk and want to get out all of whatever that is is going on is going on and they're going to find someone's help and it's probably someone that's never been in your space before or someone that has recently and maybe if your experience is not so pleasant they're not going to want to come back or not want to try you and it's just really bad press. Mistakes happen, it's how, all about how you recover from it. I want to thank my Ritz-Carlton family for teaching me all about recovery things. And I also want to say I wish you hadn't told me that there are things that people actually do when things go wrong, because I've definitely had some fun experiences in the past 48 hours. And besides ensuring that I like am eating the things that my team is eating, um, 
I'm totally sitting right now through a pass the pot situation that's incredibly frustrating because I've worked in hotels, so I actually know where the fault for most of these things lie or where it should lie. I don't know what the structure of this place is, but I know that it exists. Not very good. I do know that they will figure out a way to make it right because that's what real hoteliers do. I just don't know how it's gonna happen. And that's really not my worry because I'm not on that side for this particular event. So these are my little meeting planner pet peeves. If you're out there and you're going to do something with me, please take note. I'm very detailed. Whatever I ask for, I want. And if I didn't ask for it and it's an enhancement, please let me know in advance. It may be something that I took out because someone's allergic to it. Um, it may be something I need just because it ends up being necessary. I needed an ambulance. We typically have our um, health team on standby. And I actually needed the ambulance that people told me we really didn't need. So, yeah. Suggestions? Yes, but at the end of the day, whatever the meeting planner wants is what they want. And if I do something and it doesn't work, I will take the blame for it. I'm the meeting planner. I'm happy to be like, oh, we tried this cool thing and it didn't work. We won't do it again. But if I ask for something and it's unusual to you and you don't understand why I need it to happen, you can ask me. But at the end of the day, I'm paying for it. I want it just the way I asked for it. That's about it. So this is your Desert Debutante signing off for tonight.